Hi folks, today I'm going to be doing another video about the Skyview team. Now a few years ago I caught them stealing pictures from various amateur observatories and posting them on YouTube as if it was their own footage and lying about the content of that footage. For example, they stole a picture from the Xanadu Observatory and claimed that it showed some sort of Kuiper Belt object blocking stars in the picture. In fact, there weren't, weren't supposed to be any stars in that particular area of the picture in the first place. I'll put a link in the video description to my previous video about this, but suffice it to say that I caught them stealing pictures from multiple observatories on multiple occasions, and every time they would get caught, they would immediately pull down the video before anyone had a chance to file a copyright complaint, thus preventing their channel from getting any copyright strikes. However, they apparently became concerned about the risk of copyright strikes and the risk that their channel would be exposed as having stolen from various other observatories, and so they retreated to a private forum and a private website where they could control the discussion completely. Now fortunately I was able to get myself an account on their website by not telling them who I am, and if we take a look at their images page, we can see various pictures that they claim to have taken, and pictures of their equipment and their control room. But if we come over here to John Schumach's uh, astrophotography page, oh look, this is the same telescope they show in their picture. It's John Schumach's 10-inch LX200. And if I come up here, there's John Schumach sitting in his control room. And it's the exact same control room we see on the Skyview Teams page. In fact, even the content on the monitors uh, is exactly the same. This is the same picture, just cropped and stretched a bit to try to hide the fact that it came from John Schumach. Now, John sells his astrophotography and his pictures. He takes it very seriously, and I'm pretty sure he's not going to be happy to find out that someone's been stealing his pictures and using them not only for their own website, but for their fear-mongering as well. Now, if we come up here and we take a look at... Uh, some of the nebulars they imaged. That's not even the right word. We see a picture of the Orion Nebula. If we come over here to Reddit, oh look, it's the same picture. Posted two weeks ago on Reddit and uh, from a completely different user. Now we can send him a message too and let him know that his picture's been stolen as well. Now again, in the past, they would do the same thing. They would steal pictures from real amateur astronomers and put them into YouTube videos. But they think they can get away with it now by hiding behind a private website that requires an account to log in. Fortunately, I was able to save an archive of this page, and anyone can see this archive. I'll put this link in the video description, and you can check it out for yourself. Now if we go to their About page, we see a description and their story they claim to tell about uh, how they got started and everything, and we see another picture of their equipment, different looking telescope, and in fact, that telescope is right here. Same picture. They just chopped it off a bit. But this actually belongs to Dragon Man. He goes by Dragon Man on a few forums, a few astronomy forums, and also uh, webcasts on Night Skies Network. Again, very popular place for uh, Skyview team to be stealing images. That's also where they got a uh, picture from uh, the Smiling Chicken Observatory. Uh, he had been, Smiling Ch Chicken Observatory had also been uh, webcasting on Night Skies Network when his photo got stolen. This was uh, years ago, but uh, Skyview team got caught and once again they pulled down their video immediately and posted another one where they were clearly not so happy with myself and the people who exposed their theft. I wonder what they're going to do now, but regardless of what they do now, there is now going to be a permanent record of the thefts that they have committed. These archive sites will stay up even after their website is pulled down, either by them or by copyright complaints from John Schumach and others. Wix is the uh, service provider who's providing the hosting for their website. And they take copyright abuse quite seriously as well. 
And so I'm pretty sure John will be keen to report this image theft to Wix and have the site taken down. And I know for a fact that Dragon Man certainly will. So with that, I just uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a, an appreciation now for what the Skyview team really is. It's not a team of amateur astronomers, it's probably just one guy, and he's stealing pictures from real amateur astronomers. Have a nice day.